ETS is a way of approaching art differently than the students normally have gotten trained. VTS teaches the kids to really look deeply at art and not have it be intimidating for them. There's so many ways that art can connect and help kids connect to their world around them. I really want kids to be able to look at a piece of artwork and know, try, try to interpret the meaning, try to understand what's going on. So over here you're seeing maybe some things in the front and you're saying that they appear to be running, is that correct? We really are seeing that those students are able to apply those skills that they're acquiring in the class to here at the museum. And hopefully we'll also see that in their larger lives as citizens or maybe in other classrooms in later grades. It's causing them to look deeper at the image and look for evidence for why they think the things that they think and what's happening, kind of constructing their own meaning from it. Writing about what you think is happening next and why. You must justify, you must write down things that explain why you think. In getting them to look at art, then we transfer those skills into reading strategies. For a group that doesn't traditionally like to write, it's amazing that they actually ask me to continue writing afterwards. They really enjoy it. students got immersed in it last year, so this is now their second visit, and so they're working on more advanced strategies with the VTS. Um, we've been doing VTS in the classroom, which is visual thinking strategies. We've been looking at pictures and like kind of exploring our limits on how far we can go with just examining them and thinking of new ideas of what might have been going on in the picture. We think that maybe the mom is um, playing peekaboo with her baby because that's what moms do with babies. So one of the things with Common Core is you really want kids to think a little bit deeper, to critically analyze and critically evaluate. There are learning skills that they're going to be using from here on out. You know, just talking with a colleague of what's their opinion is so rewarding. And I'm seeing those skills that are being built in the class extended to their visit here at the museum. So we're seeing students that are thinking critically, they're providing evidence for the inferences they make unprompted, and they're also becoming even better observers of the art that they see. Say like if you saw a picture a few years ago, you'd be like, oh, that's cool, let's go on to the next one. But now if you're in the museum and you actually look at the picture, you actually think a lot more of what it might have been and how someone might have used the things that they were putting in the picture. Not only are we having some art educators helping here, it's helping our teachers here in the building. They're learning a professional development that they find very rewarding. Well, it was a four-day training at the Nelson, so um, we kind of were building off of what, you, what we learned before, how to take the kids into a certain direction with a piece of artwork, um, how, we can, how we can pick and choose, kind of, in a way, just like honing in on certain skills that really make the experience for the students even better. Talk to me and tell me what's going on in this picture. They love it. They get really excited to see what the image is going to be. And you know, in the beginning, maybe only five or six people shared. And the last time, every single person contributed. After each about 10, 15 minutes um, of doing the BTS with the paint, um, with the, either the painting or the, whatever the piece of art is, then they always have an accompanying writing project. His little feet were so cute and snug. The little fingers were like a nub. He would yell and scream like he was in a terrible dream. My husband had gone, he was all I had left, and the blues, they crept and crept. My fingers clutched the bottle, then I noticed I need to be a model. Doing the VTS with the people from the Nelson starting the project is well worth the 30 minutes they spend in your classroom every week because you can tie everything that you do in the classroom to what they're doing or what they're doing back into your classroom and they like this. This piques their interest. It's just not teaching about academics. It's also that the social and emotional cultural affairs that we're working with as well. And it's just very, very rewarding to see these kids. Just that aha moment. So if another principal or another educator came up and said, work with the Nelson, it's really a, 
win-win, I think, or definitely a win for the school system. You know, it's really powerful for kids. Underserved populations really need this more than anybody. English language learners really seem to connect with it. It's a really powerful tool. I used to look at art just like simply a piece of art that honestly, not to be rude, but I didn't really think about much or like I didn't really care about. But right now, since we're really, really learning about this and what people did before, I actually really am interested in the art pieces and just fascinating and it gives you new information every day. I think I've learned a lot to like kind of look things more in the eye instead of just like kind of looking at them. Like say like if you saw a picture a few years ago you'd be like oh that's cool let's go on to the next one but now if you're in the museum and you actually look at the picture you actually think a lot more of what it might have been and how someone might have used the things that they were putting in the picture. I'm hoping that they'll see how powerful it is. I mean, when you give kids the power to unlock a door and really develop and grow and, and, and create some new meaning in their life, it's a very powerful you know, thing to witness, and I think that's the power that art brings to the table. Having the opportunity to work with a world-class museum, how many elementary schools can say that? Being at the forefront of this has been very, very rewarding. And it's also teaching our students that we do have a community that cares about us.